So the tragedy in Madia, the Ministry of Health has embarked on a medical and a mental health response. Presently, we have already seen 29 of the children from the Madia Girls Dormitory. Of these 29 children, nine are still in the hospital. 20 of them have been discharged. Two of the nine in the hospital presently are in critical condition. And one of them with severe burn uh, is being prepared for medevac to an international burns center. At this very moment, three other children are being medevac to the Georgetown Public Hospital, bringing the number to 32 that have been medevac out since Monday morning. These three children, one of them has ingested a chemical substance and will require intense care. Two others are for observation. The, whilst the medical response is ensuring that all the children are being taken care of, there is also a mental health response. Presently, there are five mental health teams that are functioning in Madia and in Region 8. They are ensuring that all the children, both those hospitalized in Madia, and at the moment there are no, there is no child from the dormitory that is in the hospital in Madia, but all of them who come to the hospital are also assessed um, by the mental health team. The mental health teams are also visiting the villages and finding the children, both male and female students. They are also talking to the teachers to other support staff, to the family members. So there is a comprehensive mental health response presently in Madia and in Region 8. The teams are, include psychiatrists, child psychologists, counselors, and social workers. A similar response is being done in Georgetown. All of the children who have been medevac and are receiving care at the Georgetown Hospital, whilst they are in the hospital and those discharged and are accommodated off-site, are uh, receiving services and care from the mental health team. These teams that are seeing the children and their parents in Georgetown also include psychiatrists, psychologists, counselors, and social workers. This weekend, a team is arriving from the United States, from Northwell. We are also putting a team together from Mount Sinai. PAHO WHO is also providing support. Whilst this is an immediate response, further short-term, medium, and long-term response for mental health um, will also be in place. Teams will stay in Region 8, and whilst the immediate concerns are the children in the Madia Secondary School dorms, both male and female, and the teachers and their family. 
We are also cognizant that children attending schools throughout Region 8 will need counseling and mental health support. So these teams will fan out to the various schools. We are also aware that children that are presently accommodated in dorms across the country, in the, particularly in the hinterland, must be traumatized by this experience. Mental health teams are fanning out to these other dorms to provide support. The mental health teams that are visiting the dorms and children in schools in, in, in Region 8, but also in other regions, will remain in place. Over the next three months, these teams will be in place and provide service. Subsequently, we will add uh, to the response for a long-term response. Um, so we are working together with the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Human Services, and Armenian Affairs to ensure that every child, every parent, all teachers um, in, in Region 8 and also in regions with dormitory are receiving mental health support. We will ensure that we strengthen our teams. Um, we are um, going to be, um, the, the, the local mental health team will be complemented by support staff coming from the United States and from other countries to work with us in both in the short term and in the medium term. Um, we will advise the public further on actions that we are taking to provide mental health support um, to these children and their parents and their teachers. Thank you.